Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Let's Play the Dankest Dungeon. It's so dank, the Dankest Dungeon Estate. I love it. I love it so bad. I'm gonna provision myself up, of course. I have um, one fire log, and I like to bring excessive amounts of foods, food on these longer missions. And a fair amount of torches. Hopefully ten will do. I would really like to bring keys, so I'm going to actually return some food and bring two keys and then I'm gonna not bring shovels cuz I'm an idiot I really don't want to bring shovels oh okay whatever let's go what's the map like like complete 100 percent of room battles so this can if you're lucky and sooner than you would normally expect I'm so glad I brought keys already I also have holy water, so I can relieve some stress if I find some sort of prayer area. Praria, as I like to call it. There we go. Quite a bit of stuff there. The key has already paid for itself. Although, it could, like, reverse pay for itself if I really, really should have brought... Yeah, I needed to come here. So that heals really good, but I'm just going to use a stun on um, this guy here, just to avoid the bleed. Stun worked, and it also ups my torch which I always appreciate. So if I can bring this guy up to the second position, or maybe you up to the first position right away, come on, get up here, yeah! That was actually a fairly good start to this. This guy becomes a lot more useless and will probably crit 100% less often. Oh, I'm starting to gain more and more respect for um. Attacks that actually move your guys around so you don't have to take no damage for a little while. Ooh, lovely crit. Do I get I could get good stress relief across the board from that? Which is always good. Monster type unholy plus damage. Sounds good to me. You're unholy, right? Uh, the D but the plus damage apparently did nothing for me. But that's perfectly alright, I guess. I actually don't mind that she's just using Eldritch Pull anymore. She could be doing a lot of stress damage to me at the moment, and she's not, which I am very happy about. Let's just flashbang here, try to get... Wow, nice crit, man. Try to get myself, um... The stun off is all I was going for there. That stun is particularly useful, by the way. Um, especially when there's just one enemy left and you don't want it to stress you out. Excellent. Got some bleed off, and I get more holy water. Wow, I have a lot of holy water together. What, can I use holy water on this? No, no, it doesn't care at all. Just experimenting. I don't know everything yet. Um, apparently I don't know much at all yet. But I do know where I should be positioned. I'm just gonna open it up. It contem I contemplate mortality. Thanophobia. Health blow, okay. You know, that's alright. You're a healing class, so... There are worse things than you, that you could have than Thanophobia. Actually, some might say that the fear of mortality is probably a good thing um, if you're some sort of healer. You know, Although, maybe not. It might be very stressful on you if you couldn't save people. I don't know. Um, than Thanophobia is probably something you can easily develop if you are a healer or a doctor. Man, I'm getting a lot of good treasure this time. And I'm also getting a lot of bad stress. So I should probably watch that. And by, when I say watch that, I of course mean watch the brightness of my torch. Ladies, I my dick glows, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. Um, so pretty much the second I go here, I'm going to camp out just to get the advantages of the stress relief and the health as I'm going to dig through this with my bare hands. Oh, I knew that would happen. I did it anyways. I did it all for the nookie. Oh my god. No, I for some reason didn't think there'd be a battle there, so I didn't use torches. In radiance, may we find victory. Okay, let's try to hook this guy forward here. I don't think these guys have... No, they resisted. Oh. Damn, I'm just trying to make them useless by bringing them to the front. Fortunately, he has Holy Lance, which can be used from any of the back positions on any of the back two. And we'll slowly advance him forward. Again, like I said, I have more and more respect for um, repositioning attacks as I go on in this game. 
Wow, that was, that was a good eight damage, dude. I appreciate that. Why don't you um attack this guy and he'll be dead next turn. Hopefully. Oh no, I can only attack the guy in the back now. So don't kill the guy in the back or else I will not be able to um, lunge forward next turn. Damn, that hurts. Maybe come hither? Possibly? Oh, why does everyone keep resisting that pull? I, I think I actually absolutely need to heal up here. Um, I can pretty much consistently heal a fair amount. If A party heal for eight counts for a lot more than some people think. So everyone's very close to death now, which is almost ideal. Ow, that crit hurts so bad. Okay. At the very least, he's back in position. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kill the guy in the front, making these two fairly useless. And then I'm actually just going to continuously divine comfort. I'm going to only kill one of them and kind of focus down the rest, I guess you could say. Just thought a stun is better than not a stun. Bayonet jab, I actually was not aware that the stun also repositioned. I think I must have been aware of that in the past, but... Doesn't seem like something I was aware of before. Come on, bayonet jab me. Get me, dude. I know you want me. I know you want to fuck me. Uh, excuse me, I didn't mean to say that. That was my, um... My asshole shining through there for a second. <laughs> Shine through, shine through, asshole moon. What does that mean? I don't know. Do I sound like a person who knows what that means? Um, heal yourself. Since you seem to have taken the brunt of the damage there. Uh, Marked for death actually does do damage. So I'm just going to switch positions there, and then I'm going to switch positions here. I I'm just into healing right now. It's all I'm doing. It's all I'm up for. Divine comfort, motherfucker. I have to spend... I am going to camp right away, so maybe I should just, like... Yeah. Do that. It doesn't matter which position the two middle guys are in, but I am going to keep um, Reality Jaunt in the third position just cause. Just cause, too. That did actually increase my torch quite a bit. Or maybe I used torches. Hey, I surprised them! Lovely! Come hither! Seriously, come hither, though. Oh, motherfucker, they always resist. Dazzling Light is a stun. I'd rather stun the guy who can also bleed me. This guy can reposition me, though, which is just as bad, really. Um, maybe I should just go for the kill? Yeah, that, that was likely a good idea. Not entirely sure it was a good idea, but I'm fairly certain. Oh, so he was going to go first. So I'm glad I stunned him. Damn that three-way dodge. Caravan. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, got a second stun off there. I'm actually getting pretty lucky with these status elements actually um, hitting. And with uh, me resisting the movement. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, at least he resisted the movement, but that stress is a pain in the ass. I'm actually going to just, like, flashbang her and hope for the stun. Yeah, there we go. Got a double stun together. I, I guess I might as well go for, like, the triple stun here. I'm loving this treasure in this room here. Oh, my God. Why are you guys hitting? Okay, I think I should probably actually just go for a kill here. I, I feel like that is maybe a good idea. Although, maybe I should have stunned, I don't know. That was that was kind of bullshit, if you ask me. I would really like her to be dead. It's more likely than not if I attack, which is good. Is good. Is Gouda cheese. Hmm, I could use some Gouda cheese after this. Uh, you know, if, I, if dungeons ever make me feel like anything, it's like eating lots and lots of Gouda cheese. So, I'm glad I brought those keys, even though I had to dig with my bare hands through stone. Um, have a lot of relics so far, so let's camp. Let's camp out. I will eat the full amount of food for as much stress relief as possible. I'm going to do... Hmm. Okay, so I'm thinking if I double up on the surprise, 
that's probably a good thing to do. It doesn't cost much, and it will make it super likely that I surprise enemies. I like scouting. And then I like stress relief. So what do I have for stress relief here? Time cost four, or is your time cost five? Hmm. Yeah, I think that's worth it here. Okay. Now, is there anybody who can actually relieve her stress? You can, but that might not be the best thing. Pest, pep talk, pest talk. Um, let's let's go this way. I think I don't have the buffs that I usually love on medium missions, but at least I have huge chance of surprising my enemies. And I think that in itself is probably worth just as much as the buffs that I could have had. Please don't be surprised. Like, stick to your positions, guys. Oh, you didn't stick to your positions, guys. Okay, let's um try to bring you up front right away. I'm liking that the, the hook actually does a fair amount of damage as well. Wow. That guy was dead a lot quicker than I had initially anticipated. Okay, bleed. That's all right. Um, I can't remember which one of you is actually gone already, which is real stupid. But at least I get my torch ready, and um, that gave me some extra time to like move up with my guy here. You're going to be going next, so I might as well stun you right away. I am loving this stun. I realize I should maybe be healing, but damn that stun. Let's try to get a good bleed off here. That bleed attack is real good. Two damage for three rounds, definitely worth it. You aren't going to kill yourself next turn, so you might as well get the kill off here. And then you go because... Uh... Well, at the old, you're next already? Okay. I can appreciate that. I wish you had bleed on you, because you'd be dead if that were the case. Here, I'll inflict bleed. I mean, just kill him straight out. As victories, my I'm, I'm loving the amount of treasure. Like, there's a lot of things I'm not so much enjoying with um, how this is going, but there's a lot of things I am enjoying, and just the sheer staggering amount of treasure I'm carrying is one of those things. Also, I think gems should be able to stack more than four because gems are fucking tiny. That's still, still no shovel. Here's here comes the stress, guys. Oh, I really should have brought shovels. No, no, wait, wait. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if there was going to be combat in this room, but I wanted to check. So all I have to scout for is room battles. So there's probably a room battle here. I know for a fact there's a fucking enemy battle here. You better be surprised. Oh, I have like double on um, double the surprise, guys. In my eyes. Okay, instant 10. I'm always up for a like instant kill. Pretty much all the time. I think the guys with the clubs can actually do more damage. But I'm just going to do the 343 here. Um give myself a chance to kill them like two at a time rather than just kill one right now. Okay, well, you know, that was close to what I wanted. All I ever wanted was to kill a bunch of skeletons at once. Why would you write a song about that, man? That's kind of weird. Divine Grace. Grab some healing on um, Reality Jaunt. That is Reality Jaunt, right? Let's kill this guy in the back. Like I said, I'm pretty sure he can do more damage. And I probably should have killed that guy first then. I'm actually going to switch spots here and then start healing up a bit. It's because I, I really don't want Reality John to die and I think the best way to do that is to have him being healed from both sides. There we go. No, I don't I don't want you to switch. Switch spots with the skeleton. He's on our team now. <laughs> we're, we're ditching you in the dungeon, Reality John. I have no keys remaining, and I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I have no keys remaining. Don't exit to desktop. Return to game. Ignore it. There we go. Good disarm, Jaunt. Good disarm. Gotta use my torch. I'm just hoping for more scouts. Oh, I need a key for it. Or I'm supposed to have a key for it. 
Come on, resist the pull. Oh, cannot maintain focus. Okay, at the very least, I can um use my pull on him and hopefully get him into the second position. There we go. Bayonet jab is pretty much the best case scenario with these guys. Hmm. Thinking maybe I can use this extra damage. He resisted the debuff, unfortunately. I really need to actually get her moved. It's not working out well for me having her there. She is buffed 20% damage. Oh, that's weird. I can actually use Duelist Advance to get her back into position. Which is a good time for everybody. And then, oh, I was really expecting that to kill the bayonet guy. It was, the odds were on my side. It just didn't work out. Oh well, I'm not too upset about Misty Inferno being hit. He's a crusader, it's kind of your job to get hit, Misty. I'm sorry to say. Well, at least now I can, at least now I can grape shot is what I was gonna say. Let's just try to stun her. Oh, and it moved her up front, but it also moved him into position to actually use his fucking good attack. Oh. I, I don't know about this, guys. Okay, if I kill the cultist brawler here, at least he'll be back up in his bad position. I'm shuffling people around without thinking that is never a good thing to do. He resisted the movement, which is a good thing. Stop attacking fucking reality, John. Man, these people are after you so hard. Okay. So what I'd like to do here is actually focus down the skeleton in the back and leave um leave this crossbowman alive so I can get some healing done. Stun? Yeah, stun. Perfect timing on the stun too. Okay, now I desperately need some healing together. You're just gonna use the party heal over and over again. Lovely. Oh no, anything but the bayonet jab, so I've so far broken way more than even on this. Um, I'm gonna swap his position over and over again. So this turn I healed 10 and got damaged four. And I'm gonna do the same thing for them where they just keep switching around. So that's seven damage healed. Please just miss, okay, four damage done. You can just move back over there. You move back over here. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the last round of my heals. I realize I could do this indefinitely and probably get everybody up to almost full health, but I don't have the patience for that. Oh my god, and that could always happen. Gotta watch those crits. Okay, I'm going to try. Trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. I'm, go I'm gonna try to open this sarcophagus. The just the fact that there's locks on it means that it's probably a trap. Yep. But I wanted to try anyways. I think I have, and no, I have um, holy things. Um, so I did get scouting over here, which is good. I will eat. I actually kind of desperately need to eat. Actually, you stay in that position. I have the feeling the third position is less likely to get targeted than the second. And Reality John just cannot get high health. He can get high hopes, just not high health. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Come on, guys. Made clear. I thought I like doubled up our um chances of being of surprising people here. It doesn't seem to be working out that way for me. I'm going to um, mark the bone defender. Oh yes, tempting goblet. I'm not doing so well for stress management. I, I thought I was getting better at it, but it turns out I was just getting lucky at it. Let's try to go for the stun on this guy here, who I'm pretty sure has yet to go. No, nope, resisted. Hmm. I should probably just be like team healing all the time. Oh, okay, at least I got quite a decent hit there. I'll be able to take out at least the second guy in line now is what I want to do. 
Um, the Bounty Hunter, or um, Olaf the Old, should be able to take out the Bone Defender rather easily. Bone Defender is ready. Is, is he not? Is the Bone Defender not always ready? Um, let's go with that group heal that I said I should probably be doing every turn. Getting him into second position would also be ideal. 22, motherfucker! I love... I love Bounty Hunters. They're not always good, but they are just often enough good that... Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I was really hoping for the crit there. I realized it was only 15% chance. But... You can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you can leave the Arblast up front in the first position and heal all your guys. So anybody who can heal will now take that chance to heal. Mark the target! Actually, I should have tried for the stun there. If I was being smart, which I was not, let's move you back up here. Ah, yes, that was a very bad idea. At least um, he attacked somebody with a fairly high dodge chance. Let's grab that. As long as I can keep this guy stunned, I'm going to keep healing. Let's put it that way. Olaf! I need your stun! Help me, Olaf One Kenobi, you're my only hope! Here, get back up here, Olaf. Okay, you heal yourself. I'm loving the extra heal from the tank class. It's just such a good such a good move from a me me mostly melee character. Excellent. That stun will give me one full turn more to heal, and then I'll see if I can get another stun without actually killing him. Stunning you softly with my gun. Stunning you softly with my gun. Okay, I'd better just kill him at this point. I don't want to risk taking another crit like I did last time I was trying to cheese it up. Okay, lovely. I just managed to open it straight up. That is a good thing. I have the feeling that a highwayman might actually be slightly better at opening things. Don't know if that is a legitimate you know, thing that actually exists. So there's a wall there, but there's no wall here, so my best option is to actually go around so I don't get way overly stressed. Um, surprisingly, surprisingly enough, um, claustrophobia. Well, at least you won't be doing that again. I should have made sure there was more, more um, light before I did that, but I was at full anyway, so I guess maybe not. Here, you get up front. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Oh, and you crit me. I... Seriously. I call fucking shenanigans. I call shenanigans so hardcore. I'm gonna try to stun the front man here. That actually worked out surprisingly well. Um... I have pretty much no choice but to attack him. Like, I would have marked him with the Bounty Hunter, but I was trying to pull this guy up front. Fortunately, the stun managed to stop him from doing anything else. Get up to the fucking front. Yes, thank you. You just keep attacking. Now he only has the rushed shot, which is all right at best. Um, he's bleeding for four, so I'm pretty sure he's now dead. Yeah. So I can completely ignore him. Indeed. That is the case. Perhaps the turning point. Poor damage, that's the Whoa! I love when that thing crits. It crits so hard. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly hmm. corruption. What do I want to get rid of here? I want to get rid of that and take the onyx. Now why would I want to take that? There is no reason for me to take this when I could take the onyx. Lovely, thank you. Have to disable the trap. Come on, man, you can do it. Oh, he can't do it. Please don't be on death's, he's on death's door. Okay, how about you go ahead and just eat like a bit of food? I should only need to eat once. I should have done that a bit earlier. Um, my stress level is getting a tiny bit high. Oh, hi, Mark, I have something for you. But then again, I also know that there is no encounter in between here and where I need to go. So maybe things are not all that bad. Can I use the torch on this? Oh my god, no! No! Not insanity! 
Oh my god, why did somebody tell me to use a reeling, gasping, taken over the edge into madness? Um, so now it's fairly likely that everybody on this mission is going to go insane. Just being honest here, I have done very badly with um, my sanity management. I won't even get like the warrior of the light bonus that I'm pretty sure some of these guys get. Are often low on supplies. But I'm gonna try anyways. I might as well open that. It's not like it's gonna stress them out anymore. Oh, lovely! Instant crit with um resolve tested. Oh, lovely! Two irrational people. That means I'm down at least two thousand gold when I get back to town. Okay, let's get you the fuck up front. Thank you. Man, the bounty hunter's been um, all out the old. You have been super fucking useful this turn. Really, knife in the dark crit. Oh my god. There is so much bullshit going on. And everybody's going insane, not becoming virtuous, because of course. I, I still think I'm gonna win this fight. <laughs> Abusive. <laughs> well, at least he can't. Um, <laughs> he literally cannot make anybody more insane by being an asshole abusive person. So if there was a good time to go abusive, it is right now. Why do you have a 20 damage buff? I don't understand. D did I give that to her at some point? I don't understand it. Are you gonna? Are you gonna do something? Light preserve us. The twilight deepens. Oh, well, yeah, that's fair enough, but could you, like, move? Two damage! Oh my god! Wow, I didn't expect that to be so bad. Okay, Dazzling Light, you try to kill the Bone Courtier. Not that it matters now that everybody's insane. Marked? I marked myself! <laughs> oh! That's a lot of fun. Um... Want to take out the damage dealers here? You are the main damage dealer. Even though this guy can inflict bleed, the fight will probably be over by then. She marked herself too. Now oh, you guys are doing all the good things. Fortunately, they're still fighting fairly well. I gotta love it when everybody's insane, but it just barely matters. Nothing even matters. Anyone can see. Nothing. Why is, is it fearful that's making your damage that low? That is ridiculous. Can I figure out what Fearful does? It's n okay, so yeah, you do less damage because you're entirely focused on self-preservation. I wonder if it buffs your heal spells. That makes sense to me. Okay, still laugh. You don't gotta be mean. Although I don't blame you right now. Here, have a grenade. I, I, there are some types of insanity that can have positives, right? It makes sense if you don't think about it at all. At least she's stunned. Like, there's no way that I don't win this fight. Or that somebody dies during this fight. Yes, I know. Dagger, flint, flintlock, whatever. Okay. You know, I'm good with that. I'm good with that manifestation of your madness. I get all of this. Minus the bandages. I'm going to click on this and get um, Reality Jaunt to open it. So are certain classes better at unlocking things? That is something I would like to know. I can drop this holy water because fuck holy water. And back to town. Fortunately, I made a lot of money because I need a lot of money in order to heal up. And fortunately, I made so much money that the amount I need to heal my sanity probably doesn't actually matter. So, you know, it could have been worse. I'm not going to click on any of those motherfuckers. Okay. Once our estate was the envy of this land. First round damage down. That sucks, but you know, things could be worse. Um, Despix level three. I have a whole other team, so I, I can take them along, even if Despic won't come. But the main thing I want to do is get these, get these fuckers to an abbey. Um, Shunki is completely out of stress, so should probably just. I could upgrade both of these one more time. Or at least one of them. Yeah, and I'm gonna do that. Misty, um, anything, anything works for you, right? You're good in any type of stress relief. Go to the fucking cloister, 
It doesn't cost much money. All at the old. You can only do something? In town, we'll only flagellate for self... We'll only flat... Flat... We'll only use flatulence for self-relief. Okay. Fair enough. Um, you can only... What now? Oh, you also can only hurt yourself for your stress relief. Well, I guess you're going to be incredibly stressed for one more go. And you can only pray? Or will not... Yeah, Unquiet Mind will not meditate. Oh, well, that's about the best I can do. Um, I can also improve the guild, I'm pretty sure. Indeed, I can. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, Ren, you are going to upgrade the fuck out of your abilities, and you're going to learn some new abilities. Um, judgment is much better than this, and Hand of Light, or anything that works from the back slots. Okay, so basically all you needed to get rid of was that. Oh, it's so much money. Okay, improve that and improve this. Those are my two favorite abilities. The stun chance is pretty good, especially if you increase its... Okay, fine. I'm just improving Ren this turn. Shut up. Don't judge me. Um, except for you, I'm improving your grape shot. There we go. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.